Now, Christy Willett from the University of Mississippi joins us in studio. Hi, Christy. Thanks for joining us. Great. It's great to be here. Now, can you break down cannabinoids for us? What are they? Sure. Cannabinoids are a class of compounds that are structurally similar and are present in the cannabis plant. So two of the more famous ones are tetrahydrocannabinol, and, or THC, and cannabidiol, or CBD. So THC is the uh, psychoactive compound that's in marijuana, and its use has been legalized uh, either recreationally or medically in many states. And CBD, is, in the form of Epidiolex, is an approved drug for childhood drug-resistant epilepsy. And CBD is also broadly available on the consumer market. What have you come to learn through your research about cannabinoids, and how can we use them? So uh, our laboratory does research on both the therapeutic efficacy of cannabinoids, for example, to, uh, in their ability to, to control seizure activity. But particularly relevant to SOT, we study the potential developmental toxicology of cannabinoid exposure. We're concerned that the broader availability of cannabinoids uh, will result in humans being exposed during pregnancy. And we don't know or understand the long-term impacts of what that exposure will be. So we, using the zebrafish model, have found that this developmental exposure to either CBD or THC does actually have potential effects into adulthood, especially on things like reproduction and behavior. Leslie, what will you be covering about cannabinoids in your presentation? So I have two presentations um, in this sessions on THC and CBT, respectively. And so I'll be describing how we use the zebrafish to better understand um, the complicated underlying molecular mechanisms of both the developmental uh, acute sort of toxicities we see, but then also the developmental basis um, uh, of the adult diseases that uh, we see from that early life uh, cannabinoid exposure. Thanks again for joining us, Christy. Thank you.